Ini Geng Lui. He is an inflatable robot designed by Newbotics. So we've designed all of the code and controllers that we upload to him to make him move how we want him to move. Menurut para peneliti, robot ini bisa menjangkau wilayah rumit untuk SAR, membantu lansia dan kaum disabilitas, atau bahkan melayani satelit antariksa. Our soft robot research is about making robots that are safe around people, around people or uh, anything else that you're worried about breaking. Para peneliti di Universitas Brigham Young BYU mengembangkan robot tiup yang serbaguna. The soft robots that we work with are uh, fabric and on the inside it's kind of like a bike tire we have an inner tube in there there's different air chambers you have some that make the structure of the robot and others are what make it move around karena king louis diisi angin ia bisa dilipat rata dan mudah dibawa ini menarik perhatian nasa yang memberikan dana bagi proyek ini that means we can collapse them down into really small spaces so for nasa that's interesting because if it's small and if it's lightweight it's cheaper and easier to send it up into space juga kecil kemungkinan Louis menyebabkan atau menderita cedera karena kulit luarnya lembut. So if you're thinking of hammering or trying to assemble things together, a lot of times that's dangerous. They're going to break their gears, they're going to hurt themselves. We don't worry about that with a robot that's full of air. <laughs> Menurut tim BYU, selain penelitian, mereka ingin menggunakan Louis untuk mempromosikan pendidikan sains dan teknologi di sekolah dasar. We're interested in soft robots that can actually help those with motor impairments that can work in your house because they'd be safe to be around your children or older adults. Para peneliti mengatakan robot tiu bernama King Louis ini pada dasarnya bersifat aman dan mereka ingin agar robot ini bisa membantu banyak orang dalam kehidupan sehari-hari. Tapi menurut para periset, mungkin perlu waktu 5 hingga 10 tahun lagi sebelum teknologi robot ini dapat tersedia secara luas. Dari Washington, saya Helm Yohanes dan tim VOA.